Uh, people said when when the Kennedys were killed, <coughs> pardon me, when when uh, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, they said, well, where are our leaders? And I used to say all the time, we had lots of leaders. If you're a super of a building with six apartments and people listen to you, then you too are a leader. So not every leader has great charisma and, and will, will be nationally known or even known citywide. So in that sense, we have many leaders. I like to believe that uh, a leader, first of all, by definition, must have followers. If nobody's following you, you can't be a leader. Those persons who claim to be leaders, who see which way the people are going and run and get ahead of them and say, let me, let me lead my followers, that person perhaps isn't really the leader that, that he claims or she claims to be. But we have many very fine leaders and, and, and lots of disciplines, lots of different uh, areas of endeavor. And, uh, and it's important. And we, we ought appreciate the leaders we do have. There are lots of them that are really good. Some will, will get more projection than others, of course. And um, um, even Martin Luther King, keep in mind that when they came to him and said, we need you to lead the Montgomery bus, bus boycott, um, and he did, and he rose to the occasion, and as they say, the rest is history. But there were others. And, and, and when he became the Martin Luther King that we all know, there with him was Wyatt Walker, who today is at Canaan Baptist Church. It was Andy Young, uh, magnificent. Andy Young, incidentally, was at Howard with me. Uh, he was a couple of years behind me, but we were good friends. And I was a uh, dean of probates when he became uh, an alpha. Uh, and uh, uh, we laugh about it to this day. Um, and uh, to, to digress a moment, uh, Andy Young uh, was highly popular, and a leader in many ways, um, and uh, was in the Congress when uh, the President, Jimmy Carter, selected him to become an ambassador to the United Nations. And Andy had promised to help me one of the many times I was running for borough president, I ran for borough president of Manhattan three times. So much so that people would say to me, what do you do? And I'd say, I run for borough president. And so Andy was going to campaign with me. And there's a highly popular leader, Andy Young, walking the streets of Harlem with a bullhorn. I knew that was all I needed. Well, the president made him an ambassador. I said, oh, shucks. And I, had, I was happy for my friend. But I was sad for myself because he can't, I know ambassador, he can't come out in the street. And he said, what time? And he was out there walking the streets of Harlem with me. And, uh, and finally I, you made it. Finally I made it. Yes. Well, it, when, when one tries to list the qualities of a good leader, it, it's uh, enormously difficult. Uh, I suppose it'll vary from person to person. Um, um, Martin Luther King was a good leader because he was, among other things, a magnificent orator. And, um, but he also was a person of, of conviction and principle and stuck to his guns no matter what. Um, Churchill, great leader, um, rallied uh, London and the world, even though they voted him out of office two, years at, two months after the war ended. But he was a great leader. And, and the, 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 among the qualities is, can be, doesn't have to be, can be oratory. But um, take, um, take Rosa Parks. She's no great orator, but she had the conviction. She says, I'm not going to move. And she didn't move. And so she becomes a leader to us because of the symbol that she, she produces out there. So I, I suppose it varies from person to person.